Hello, in this video we'll take a look at uh, the navigation as well as uh, some basic operations for creating curves and solids inside Moai. Before watching this video I highly recommend to install my Blender inspired hotkeys for Moai 3D because from now on I will also use hotkeys. By default you don't have any hotkeys aside from the usual copy and paste and this kind of stuff but you don't even have an option for quickly changing the viewport or creating let's say a curve and this will slow down your workflow a lot i highly recommend to either create your own hotkeys or install my custom uh, configuration files. If you download my file, it's also a PDF guide, but if you want to create your own custom hotkeys, I made a companion video on YouTube where I explain uh, basically everything. So before jumping into this video, I recommend setting up some hotkeys. Okay, with that said, let's take a look at the navigation inside Moai. So maximize a viewport, you can press these buttons here. Right now we are in the split view, so all the four views are here visible. But let's say I want to go to my 3D view, I can click here, 3D, and that's it. If I want to go to the front view, I click front. If I want to go back to the split view, I click split. If you have my custom hotkeys, you can simply press the spacebar. So you move the mouse over the viewport you want, like the 3D, here it is my mouse, and I press the spacebar one time. I press the spacebar again one time, and I go back to the split view. Front, same thing, spacebar, maximize, spacebar again, and I, and I go back to the split view. Very fast and easy. It's exactly like in Maya. Let's go to the 3D viewport. So click here or press the spacebar. And uh, to navigate the 3D view, we can use these buttons here, but I don't really recommend them. Or you can use the standard industry navigation hotkeys. These are uh, set up by default. So you hold down the Alt key and uh, you hold down the left mouse button to rotate your view. Alt right mouse button, you hold down both of them and then uh, move the mouse uh, forward and backward. You can zoom in and zoom out. And if you hold down the middle scroll wheel, you can pan around. Okay, so exactly like in other 3D softwares. If you are in a 2D viewport, like the right view, this is an orthographic view, so you obviously can't rotate it, but you can pan around by either hold down the middle mouse button alone, and you can also zoom in with the scroll wheel, or you can use the combination Alt left mouse button to pan around or the middle mouse button, and then you can use the Alt right mouse button forward and backward to zoom in and zoom out. I usually tend to use the um, just the middle scroll wheel to pan and also zoom. Now let's go back uh, to the 3D view and let's say I want to create a basic solid. You go to the draw solid panel, left click on the box and here in the top right corner uh, you will get a hint. This hint will appear for every tools and operation. It says pick corner point, so we pick the start of our box, like the origin, then pick other corner, which means the other end of the box, like this, left click again, and then pick extrusion. So I move the mouse uh, forward and backward, and as you can see, it, uh, it creates the box. While you are doing this operation, you can still move your camera around. So if I hold down the Alt key and uh, use the various super, um, combination like uh, left mouse button, I can rotate or uh, hold down the middle mouse button, I can pan around. 
I will left click here and the box is made. You may notice that you have various options here. The shade by corners is what we did just now, but you also have other options like create from center. If I left click this, it says pick center point. I will pick a random point here. And as you can see, it now creates the box from the center. And if you notice, if I over over with the mouse alongside a certain angle, it will lock it and say square because it is indeed a square and not a rectangle like this. I left click again and left click again. Okay. To delete these solids, just left click on one of them and press the delete key. Now let's take a look at uh, creating curves. You can create curves in both the 3D viewport as well as the orthographic view. Usually you want to create curves in the orthographic view because you are more precise and you only have two directional axes to take care of uh, without the depth. To create a curve is the same as creating a solid. So you simply left click on the curve you want, let's say a simple line curve. And here again, you have various options. The first one will only create the line. Let me go to the right view. And uh, if I left click, it's a pick start point. So I left click uh, here and I have my various uh, snapping uh, options because I have a straight snap enabled and I left click again to choose the endpoint. Very easy. And to delete it, it's just like the solid. You select it with the left mouse button and press delete. We'll take a look at the operations for selecting, moving various objects, scaling, all this kind of stuff in the next video because there are unique features that you won't find in another 3D package. So for the time being, that's all for this video. It has been useful to you. Leave a like to support the channel. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. If you have any questions, comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.